All right, Lynn Kanuka. Well, uh, there goes another great <laughs> cross-country event. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it was crazy, crazy. So lots of cross, mud. yeah. Thousand kids, lots of mud. So cross-country, right? It was so cross-country, absolutely. Yeah. And we're lucky it uh, got to about 11 degrees. Yes. Oh, uh, you know what? It was what it was. It's always that way, and you just have to persevere. And today was a true test of cross-country. And you know, for some, it it would be like awful, awful. Right? And in fact, the biggest thing is that is just that perseverance. And what is interesting, right, is that the, the kind of the top guys and gals still manage to pull it off, no matter the conditions, which is really interesting. Yeah, the yeah. favorites uh, came yeah. to play, right? Well, they came to play, and, and they, yeah, I mean, right off the bat, like I think of, Oh, the young Hannah Benison, though, like from Vernon. I mean, she's shown herself to be a star already, but today, like, she just went for it, you know, right from the gun. And Christina Sevcic, such a good runner in the field, was so good, but she ran away with it. And, like, you know, she looks so good, right? And then the boys, oh my gosh, those senior men with the pack. You knew it was going to be a pack for at least a lap. And then they were going to start testing one another. And then the guy that came out on top today, not a surprise, but kind of a surprise, you know, just Kieran Lum. And I've heard now since then so many stories of him that he's, you know, done all these grouse grinds and, you know, he's just this endurance machine, which, you know what? Hard work pays off and that gutsiness in him and the way he finished over, you know, oh my gosh, Brendan and Thomas, who are fantastic runners, they're all going to keep each other honest. Yeah, and speaking of Kieran Lum, uh, I was talking to him too, and uh, I guess he's a cross-country skier, which uh, we were talking about, it, that uh, speaks to his uh, yeah. big aerobic base. Yeah, it does, yeah. You know, and it's exciting to imagine that there is that crossover from sports like cross-country skiing, like even swimming. We'll, we see swimmers rise to the top after years and years of endurance in the water, and then they start to run track, and they realize they're pretty good at it. And we've seen that happen over the years as well. So, yeah. Yep, what a great event, and, and you were announcing. Oh. And, uh, that must have been must have been living vicariously through. I do. Yeah. Running. I know yes. exactly what they're going through, <laughs> that's for sure. As the coaches do, parents that are runners, anybody that's run and looks at the conditions they were facing, you have some idea of what it's like, you know. And that I guess I get excited because these really are the best of the best. And just as it happens, many of these top kids are in fact amongst the best in our country. They're right here in BC, but they are the best in our country. And we are going to see some of these names, you know, moving forward at the at the international levels, which is going to be pretty exciting. That's awesome. Thanks for this, Lynn. Awesome. My pleasure. Okay. <laughs>